Welcome back guys to another Zero DTE video and today Ernie is going to be talking about market trends so make sure you stay tuned. If you're interested in becoming a pro trader check out the link in the description where you can find Ernie's education platform. Enjoy guys. Question on the Fed day coming up. What do you think? It's a good idea to go into a Batman trade into that day zero DTE. And is it better to be in a zero DTE Batman trade or is it better to be in a one two DTE trade going into the Fed? For me, a Batman isn't much use unless the VIX is up in the mid to high 20s, right? I know that I talk a lot about the Batman. Consider that when I wrote the trader manual, I wrote it when the VIX was in the mid to high 20s. And so I, I put it out there as a trade and I've been carrying it out there. And a lot of people see the Batman and they immediately gravitate towards it. I don't know why, even though I tell them I don't like the trade, but everyone wants to gravitate towards it. Can you tell me why you gravitate towards the Batman? I know I talk about it, but you also hear me say, Say, I don't like it. One other purpose well. of the Batman is by having the opposing trade, it does act as a hedge, as a cheap hedge. No, the Batman is on there because you have no idea which way markets are going. In the face of maybe extreme volatility or an event that could cause it to go in either direction. Those are the reasons why I would put on the, the Batman. The Fed day is perfect for that, right? That fits that description. Yeah, but I'll tell you this also, a lot of Fed days, they don't always have big moves or they have have big moves in both directions and end up right in the middle where they started. I've a seen lot. that, but I've also seen on a Fed date when it didn't move at all. It was like a couple ones of like two or three ago. And I also saw that I was able to get out of the Batman with all my money. Like the market just stood there, did nothing. And I was able to exit both trades with my money and not lose anything either, even though the market, like you said, just ended up right where it started. You probably would have done better on a single fly. You would have made more money on the uh, position that it temporarily went up to. And then you would have been out of the trade, right? The, the, the idea that you made it on the other side too, that was luck. It also moved towards the other put fly as well as the call fly. That doesn't happen very often. That's very rare, even with a, a Fed announcement, right? The other yeah. thing I noticed, Ernie, is that even if the price moves there and gets into the other fly, if the move is so quick and you like you get that rapid reversal, you don't even have time to sell it and get out of it. So what good is it? You get this touch and go sometimes. It has to get there and it has to give you enough time to place your trade and get out. Otherwise, it, it does no good. How often does that happen? No, but we're talking fast moving market and we're talking Fed Day, right? Which is what happens. Yeah, but see, Fed Day, I don't look at it as... Oh my God, we have all this opportunity. The Fed day is coming up. We have to have this sort of more sophisticated trade. I don't do that. I haven't found that works. What works is basically the same strategy that we always do. Go with the trend and just put the trade out there and know that you're going to be able to get a much better cost efficient trade because the volatility is going to be super high. I'll be able to make it wider and probably pay a lot less money. To me, that's a good trade, right? Now, if it moves in there, there's a good chance that I'm going to make really good money. If it doesn't, I'm not going to lose a lot. How wide would you make that fly for that day? The volatility might go up high enough where I might put on a 20 wide. I could go 25 or 30 wide. And I might pay less than 10%. I might pay 5% instead of 10%. That's how much the volatility can change the effect that you get in terms of efficiency of putting on that trade. So you're saying that I'm able to go wider for the same price of what we were doing at the 20 wide. Is that what yeah. you're saying? Yeah. That sounds because like a good deal. <laughs> Yeah, when the VIX gets higher or there's a, a big change from one day to the next where implied volatility also explodes. If VIX grows from, say, 14 to 16, that's a monumental change. That can change up to two strikes on your fly, giving you the same price, but two strikes closer or the same distance away, but another strike or two wider. That's a big difference. It could be the difference between having, say, a $1,500 profit potential and a $2,500 profit potential. That's going to affect you on every part of the spectrum of the profit curve, right? So even if it doesn't go all the way in there, you're still going to have more profit potential in, in, in the zone too. So you're not sitting there trying to make the perfect trade every day. You do the same friggin' thing every day. You just adjust for the volatility. You don't look at the Fed day as like this big frigging opportunity. It is an opportunity, but it is no different than any other opportunity in any other day. You just adjust marginally the, the size and the exposure to that market. That's all you're doing. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the like button below. If there's any questions that you might have for Coach Ernie, make sure you leave them in the comment section. Thanks guys.